class is super simple. It's a warm-up flow so that you can get warm, moving, get the heat going before you start your choice of activity for the day. Whether you are a runner, a cyclist, a rock climber, a yogi, a swimmer, a crossfitter, it's always a good idea to stretch and move before you get really active and intense. So this is for anyone who likes to move in the world, which is hopefully everyone. Like I said, super short, simple, throw on some active wear, unroll a mat, you probably don't even need a mat, and let's get moving. For today's class, we'll start in child's pose. Um, a lot of us who move a lot have tight hips, so let's take the open hip version. <clears throat> take the knees nice and wide, toes together at the back. Slide the hands forward as you melt the chest all the way down and the forehead will rest onto the earth. Allow the chest to soften down, open up through the armpits. Take three deep breaths. On the next inhale, begin to lift the gaze, slide the hands back in towards you. And let's come up into a tabletop position, working into stretching our wrists. If you're a yogi, if you're someone who lifts weights, um, anything where you're having that hand to ground action, it's really great to get into our wrists, especially if you wanna start hand standing. So with fingers facing forward to start, Gently hug the low belly in, of course, to always uh, support that low back. And let's just lean slightly forward. Find your edge here. And take it back. Let's just move back and forth like that. So leaning forward. And take it back. Last time, slide those shoulders forward. And take it back. This time, flip the fingertips to face towards you. You might want to walk the knees in a little bit more. And then slowly glide your hips back towards the heels. All of us are going to have a different edge and a different flexibility within our wrist joints. So you tune into what feels good for you. Next inhale, bring the shoulders forward. Lean off of that stretch a bit, and let's move back and forth. So exhale back, inhale, rock forward, exhale, rock back. Micro movements here, nothing too extreme. Inhale forward, come to neutral, release the wrists. This time I want you to bring the top of the hand to the, to the ground. Fingertips facing in towards one another. This one can be a little intense, so walk those knees in a little bit more. And just breathe here. Show those wrists some love. They work all damn day. You can let the hips sink back towards the heels in this one. <clears throat> Take one more breath. And release the hands. Come back into your tabletop. Bring those knees back beneath the hips. And then let's just do small counterclockwise circles. Keep the belly hugging in. Two more circles. And switch the rotation. Take it clockwise. All the while we're breathing. We're gearing up to do some type of activity. One more breath, or one more rotation. So let's start to invite the breath in. Come back to neutral tabletop. I want you to curl the toes under and sit back on your heels. This can be really intense. In yoga, we call it toe stand. So we're stacking right above the heels. The toes are um, experiencing a really deep opening, or the foot is. Let's just bring hands to the tops of the thighs and drop the chin to chest. Breathe into the back of your neck. Next inhale, take right ear to right shoulder. Relax both shoulders down. Breathe into the left side of the neck. Exhale. 
Exhale, back through center, take it over to the left. Relax, both shoulders down. I know your toes are talking, we're almost there. Take it back through to center. Inhale, the head high. And then plant the hands in front of you, release the toes. Ah, oh, yeah, that's intense. And pitter patter the feet out. Okay, let's moving into some cat cow poses. Back into that tabletop posture. On an inhale breath, we drop the belly as the tailbone lifts and the chest opens. On the exhale, we round the back as the tailbone drops and the head and neck relax. Inhale, come back, open the front side body. Exhale, breathe into the back side body, round the back. Last time, inhale, open. Exhale to close. Inhale back to neutral tabletop. Moving into thread the needle. Inhale the right arm really high. Open across the chest. Reach through the right fingertips. And exhale to thread it through to the left as the right ear and the right shoulder come down to the mat. From here, your left hand can stay planted or you can reach it around to bind the top of the right thigh. Three breaths. Breathing into that right shoulder, the right side body, one more inhale, exhale, release the left hand if it's bound, root down into that hand as you rise back up, right hand reaches, exhale, neutral tabletop, immediately other side, inhale the left arm high. Exhale, thread it through to the right. Left shoulder, left ear coming down. Right hand staying or wrapping around and binding. Three deep breaths. Release if you have the bind. Ground into the hand as you inhale the left arm high. And exhale, plant it down. Curl the back toes under, spread the fingertips wide. Find downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. So, we're probably not warm. We're going to want to keep a nice bend in our knees. A lot of us, if we're not yogis, um, our hamstrings are super tight. So this allows the hamstrings to soften and open with no pressure, the low back to release and make space as we lengthen through the chest. Let's stay for two more breaths. On the next inhale, all the weight comes into the left foot as you send the right foot high, bend at the knee, and open the hip for three-legged dog. So you want to try and send that right knee high, high, high to the sky as you continue to square the shoulders off. Another inhale, open. Exhale to swing the right foot through, plant it between the hands, soften the left knee down. Inhale, rise up, low lunge. So our knee is stacked over our ankle. Our back knee is softening down to the earth. Feel free to cushion up that back knee. Hands to heart center. We're positioning our hip points up towards our belly button, creating space in the low back, firming up the low belly. Energy through the crown of the head as we soften the hips down. Oh yeah. Another inhale. Exhale to plant both hands we're going to straighten the front leg, coming into half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Nice deep hamstring stretch. We're flexing the front foot, we're sending the hips back, keeping them as square as possible as we reach energy through the crown of the head. Two breaths here. Inhale to bend the front knee, come back into that low lunge. 
Bring both hands on the inside of the right foot and heel toe the right foot out to the side for lizard. You might want to slide the left foot farther back. Coming into a real nice hip stretch. Yeah? I know we all need this too. So staying up on the hands. If you're really bendy and gumby, you can come down to the forearms. I'll stay up here. Two more deep breaths. Go ahead and curl the back toes under, pick up that back knee, and we're going to step forward into a squat. So bend the knee, step on up, and then soften the hips down into Malasana Yogi Squat. As you can tell, my toes are out and my heels are in. Hands come to heart center, connect on the inside of the knee as we lift up high. There's no right or wrong here as long as you're growing through the crown of the head. You could be here, okay? It's all good. Just work into the hips. Two more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, release the hands as you straighten the legs and forward fold. Heel toe the feet together here. And let the head and neck go. Relax. Next inhale, lift up halfway, flat back, low belly in, exhale, plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog, should be feeling a little bit warmer, a little bit more open now, on an inhale, take that left foot high, bend out the knee, open the hip, coming into that three-legged dog, doing your best to keep the shoulders square. Another inhale, send the knee high. Exhale to sweep the left foot forward and plant it between the feet. That takes some core work, yeah? Soften the right knee down. On an inhale, rise up, low lunge here, okay? Hands are coming to the heart. Don't forget that cue earlier. So hip points up towards the belly button, making space in the low back as well as firming the core area. Two more breaths, softening down into the hips. Another inhale. Exhale, release the hands as we straighten the front leg, coming into half splits. Flex the front foot, send the hips back. Do your best to square them up. Breathe into your hamstring. Back side of the left leg. Another inhale. Exhale, come forward and into lizard pose. So both hands on the inside of the left foot, heel toe out to the side. If you need to, send the right foot back a little bit farther to make space. And then three deep breaths here. Curl that back toe under, fire it up, and step on up to your squat. So spring off the back foot, plant it beside the other, lower down, Malasana Yogi squat. Hopefully this one feels a little bit more open than the last. Three deep breaths, close those eyes. Last inhale. Exhale, plant the hands as you lift the hips high, heel toe the feet together, and forward fold. Let that head and neck go. On the inhale, bend those knees, sweep the hands out to the side, rise all the way up into a standing pose. Hands sweep to the sky, gaze at the fingertips, and exhale, hands down to heart center. That's all I got for you today. Stay here for a moment, feel grounded, feel focused, feel centered. Feel strong, feel open, feel beautiful, feel ready to move into whatever movement it is you're pursuing today. Namaste friends and thank you for joining me on the mat today.